<laughs> Get ready to match the star. Bobby Vang. Brett Summers. Charles Nelson Riley. Sarah Kennedy. Richard Dawson. And Ann Elder. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 75. And now here's the star of Match Game 75, Gene Rivers. He just said you look snazzy, and then we said whatever happened to those words. Peachy kid in a snappy dresser. Snazzy, whoopee, cutie. Cutie, whoopee, whoopee. Aren't you nice? Won't that company be very happy? You, know, you, you see, we work sister. with you every day, and yeah. we, your clothes are wonderful, but seriously. <laughs> it's wonderful to work with you. We have a wonderful time, and we never tell you that we really love you. Right. Aren't you that's nice? That's true. Yeah. Oh, it's a thank you, love Charles. Isn't that sweet of Charles to say that? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Charles. Yes, sir? Now the bad news here. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you, and I do indeed love everyone on this panel, no I'm matter who you are. <laughs> <laughs> who are we? What did that mean? <laughs> but, you know, it really is a joy to come to work. It's like a social occasion. It's not going to work. Let's say hello to Marla Rocklin and Sonny Hodges here. Hello, ladies. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Marla can't believe that she's won $1,200. She, no. she finds it difficult to accept that. You better accept it. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> but now, she's going to be challenged by Sonny Hodges. Please tell us about yourself, Sonny. I'm a graduate student, and I majored in art, and I plan to go on to study medical illustrations. That's a difficult field. It's, yes. It has to be very representational art, doesn't it? Yes. A and, lot of competition. <laughs> yeah. And have you done some of it? I mean, uh, have you done enough of it to know that you're going to be a genius oh, at it? I'm going to be number one in it. I mean, at a girl. <laughs> That's the yes. attitude. Oh. Good luck to you, Sonny. We'll start this game in a moment or so, but right now we got this message for you. Hello there. <laughs> we are just chatting. <laughs> and now, Sonny, you ready? Yes. You want A or B? A. A it is. A it a, is. It is. My a, a, you're running. adorable. No. B, you're so beautiful. That's enough. A, you're, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yule Gibbon said. Yeah. I hate Yule oh, Gibbon. Wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Hate that. <laughs> He's a sweet old man. Let's give him a chance here. He'll eat you if you don't like him. Last night I dreamed I was Adam in the Garden of Eden. He dreamed that. He says I dreamed I was Adam in the Garden of Eden. He you was know? Adam in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> He says, you know, I not only ate the forbidden apple, I also ate the blank. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I got it so fast this time, it'll make your Bill head Gibbon spin. said, last night I, I dreamed I was Adam in the Garden of Eden. You know, I not only ate the forbidden apple, I also ate the blank. Uh, I think I'm going to bite your nose. <laughs> I bit her nose. All right. Just put it right in the slot. That's it, little girl. Now we go. Sonny Hodges. Yes. You know who Yule Gibbons is? I sure do. He said, last night I dreamed I was Adam in the Garden of Eden, you know. I not only ate the forbidden apple, I also ate the blank. He ate the tree. The tree. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's very good, I think. Isn't that good? That's cute. That's that's a good answer. I just hope it scores over here, answer. Herb, because that's a marvelous sense of you humor. You haven't scored this week, have you? No. Oh, no, that's Go. right. I said, what do you think I said? Do we well, I hope you said tree, tree. because that's the what answer she said? won. Tree! Yeah. What do you say? I said, what do you say? <laughs> I said I must have misread my Bible. Remember the Garden of Eden? Right. And the apple? Right. right. Remember what came into the Garden of Eden? Right, the snake? Yes! The yes. snake! Yes. Oh. Oh. That's not bad. Fricasseed snake is not oh. bad at all, is it? Snake Seven fricasseed. Years. Yes, yes. You just, uh, now we'll pay attention I to... I must have read my Bible wrong. Do you remember? <laughs> And do you remember what came into the garden? The forbidden, the forbidden garden? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, little Maybe girl. We could just hire one of them. <laughs> That's right. 
Like two answers. <laughs> I'll go for that. Yeah. No. I hate to show my answer. You don't want to show your answer? Oh, well, I'll show it. I'll Why? show it. Is it dumb? Show it yeah, it's not dumb. It goes with him, but it doesn't go with the Bible. I forgot all. Really? <laughs> she hates the, the hickory thing, nut. Man. Hickory nut. Well, that's what he's famous for, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hickory nuts. Get her out of the building. <laughs> Come on now, don't be hostile toward her. She's only 112. She's only I'm human. I'm trying, I'm trying. What do you say? You've made a mockery of Christianity. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere in the Bible is a mention of hickory nuts. That's... Now listen, Charlie. Uh, there are grape nuts in the Bible. <laughs> Charlton Heston, tell I us about it. I must tell you. Yes. I mean, he nibbles at everything, doesn't he? Right. He not only ate the... I only, not only ate the forbidden apple, I also ate the... Take a leaf. Ta da da! I'm getting the big piece. Okay, whoa. Okay. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> yes, we do. I remember when I was in Sunday school when I had a little wisp, and I remember what he ate. He went one, two, three. 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 Okay. Oh, that's two for you, Sonny. You ready? Okay, Marla, this is yours. I have an item here. You do? From Ripley's Believe It or Not. Do you remember Ripley's Believe It or Not? Yeah, sure, sure, cool. It says, John Wilcox of Canton, Ohio, was the greatest musician of all time. Wilcox was able to sing a song and at the very same time play the blank with his nose. You want to know huh. something? May I register a complaint? Yes. Those questions are turning into short stories. We can all read that stuff in Cosmopolitan. <laughs> we don't have to sit here and ask. Of part of the... Wait, it's, it's, it's. John Wilcox of Canton, Ohio, was the greatest musician of all time. Right. He was able to sing a song and at the very same time play the blank with his nose. What does Canton, Ohio have to do with it? <laughs> Nothing. We just thought we'd dress it up a little bit. You know? He's dressing it down by Canton, Ohio. All right. He was from Galesburg, Illinois. Is that better? Why must it always be Canton, Ohio? Why can't it be? If you read your Bible, you would have known it all started in Canton, Ohio. <laughs> you finally woke up, did you? Are you all right? I'm yeah. fine. The good. doctor said I can play another round. That's good. I'm in a... CBS says you can't. <laughs> Little girl. I'm trying to spill. Okay, put it in there. That's it. Now, Marla. You know about Ripley's Believe It or Not, or are you too young for that? It used to be a thing that, I mean, it was a cartoon that appeared sometimes daily, sometimes in the Sunday paper, and it was titled Believe It or Not by Robert Ripley, and he would tell these astounding things, uh, odysseys, wonders of the world. What happened then? The One of the items, supposedly, we're just pretending this was one of his items. Okay. It wasn't really, though. Okay. You weren't John... pretending about Ripley, though, were you? No, I wasn't, no. He was a real person. Because you got us convinced about it. <laughs> John Wilcox of Canton, Ohio, was the greatest musician of all time. Wilcox was able to sing a song and at the very same time play the blank with his nose. Harmonica? <laughs> you are too young to remember Robert Ripley, aren't you? Yes, okay. Well, I don't know. What do you say? Well, I know people are played by ear, but not... Sit down. I didn't say harmonica. What did you I say? figured it was something. What could you play with your nose while you could sing while at the same time? While you're singing the song... Piano's the only thing I think. Piano. Yo! See, the way it goes, it goes... For two. 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 So I didn't know whether it was Jew's harp or juice harp, but I put juice harp because that has a biblical sound. <laughs> okay. Juice harp, you play yes, with you an get a little yes, you get a little singing piece of Now, how can he put this thing in his mouth and <laughs> sing at the same time? Boy, Brett, you are a weirdo. Uh, let me tell you. Okay, you darling. <laughs> I think you meant blender, didn't you? <laughs> 
chose piano, the boring first answer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, rather a strong editorial comment out there, Charles. They're going to get you in the parking lot Sport later. Poor chorus, boys. And won't you be grateful? What do you say, Sarah? <laughs> Kennedy there. Go, Sarah uh, Kennedy. Well, if he's singing... Uh, Will Cox is able to sing a song at the same, very same time, time, play the blank with his nose. Right, so if he's singing and, and, and air's coming out, and there's coming out of his nose... Oh, yeah. get on He with gets it. on with a... Hmm... Harmonica! Harmonica! He got right? one. <laughs> okay. So, Marla's looking for a harmonica. What do you say? He... The you... <laughs> <laughs> The piano. <laughs> Sonny and Cher here? What is that? <laughs> what is it? Hey, what you say? I love a piano. Uh, piano. Piano seems to be the one. So two to one to score at the end of round one. Round two coming up, but first we got this message coming your way. <laughs> All right, we go to round two now and ask Sonny to make a selection. B. B it is. You matched two celebrities last time, Bobby and Ann. Right. So the two of you lay out, the rest of you pay attention to this. Lassie said, I think there should be a special Academy Award for dogs. It should be solid gold and made in the shape of a blank. Did you notice I was writing even before you? That's right, I noticed that. You finished before I even finished the question. You had your answer down. Play a piano. Lassie said, I think it should be a special Academy Award for dogs. It should be solid gold and made in the shape of a blank. See that? All right. In the shape of a blank. This is Lassie the dog speaking. I know, I know the answer. I just wanted, didn't want to write anything down until he got his in the good. slot. All right. Uh, don't think too hard, Charles. You're going to strain good, that one muscle you've got in your head. Yeah. See how he's, he's cheating. Cheating. Yeah. cheating? Ready? Here we go. All set? Sonny, Lassie said, I think there should be a special Academy Award for dogs. It should be solid gold and made in the shape of a blank. Shoe. Oh. Shoe? Yes, yeah, shoe. Because mm -hmm. dogs chase shoes and chew shoes. Is that yeah. why you said that? Yes. It's like shoe business. Yes. Her answer is shoe, Brett. What do you say? <laughs> oh, I say give an old dog a bone. A bone? Okay. Charles. I will now show a popular audience favorite. And just think of how adorable it would look in gold. A hydrant. Yeah. Okay, they approve of that. What are you offering? This solid gold item should be made in the shape of a blank of... Of course, a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant. Fire hydrant. Uh, I think you'll find that's a plant. Is it? Oh, really? Hydrant. A hydrant, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hydrangeum, yeah. It's so great. Actually, Richard. Charles copied me with a popular yeah. hat. <laughs> okay. All right. I want so those baritones out of here. Now, right. Marla, are you ready? Yes, I am. Now, let me see. The score is two to one in Sonny's favor. You need one to tie, two to win. Ready? The Navy captain threw Weird Willie off the submarine. <gasps> when he caught Weird Willie necking with the blank. <laughs> Well, you don't him want well, honey, now, wait a one. minute. Now, the this, Navy is, captain, it, this is fraught with intrigue. He threw Weird Willie off the submarine when he caught Weird Willie necking with the blank. Who's that? Who threw him off? The captain. Oh. Because he caught Weird Willie necking with the blank. Oh, I am. Aren't you sorry you're not playing? Yes, I am. Woo. <laughs> I don't believe it. You don't? I do. I very know. <laughs> and darling, that's oh, good I'm enough sorry. for me. Here we go. Marla. Yes. The Navy captain threw Weird Willie off the submarine when he caught Weird Willie necking with the blank. The crew? <laughs> I don't know. The crew? Have you ever been on a submarine? Never. Have you ever seen a sailor? <laughs> You saw a sailor once? Mm -hmm. Okay. I rest my case. <laughs> what do you say there, lady? Well, what about rule sweetest oh, sweetheart to my right here? Yeah. They're funny. You're when talking I to me, here, I'm no. in trouble if you're I tell talking you, you know, to me. There's yes. a light that shines That's there. Right. It looks as if this is lighted when I... I'm sorry, Bobby. I didn't mean to go past you. He you're said, on. He what? said, if you don't stop necking 
With the torpedo. With the torpedo. <laughs> You're going to get some bang out of it, boy. <laughs> okay, with a torpedo. All right. Give me now, that, Brett. Well, I'm just helping you. Is that your you, uh, to? Yeah. No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, well, this, well, this could uh, uh, match. I said the first mate. First mate? No. Sorry. No. no. Well, is the first mate a member of the crew, or yes, is he a that's visitor? One. That's a specific versus a generality, oh, right. you see. It well, can't do that. Charles? I also <laughs> said first mate. The first My mate. name was Susan. <laughs> 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 Susan, the first mate, eh? All right, now, uh, Marla, you've got to match one celebrity to stay in the game. Richard? She's looking for a match here. She, he caught Weird Willie necking with the crew. Now, I knew that he used to neck with the periscope. With the periscope. <laughs> he loved the periscope. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, Anne, it's up to you. Yeah, well, it was a small submarine, and I said first mate. First mate, so that means Sonny Hodges wins the game. Come on down, Sonny. Sir. Now, here we are with Sonny Hodges. She's won her first $100, her first game, and she have a go at over $5,000 now. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay, Sonny, we pulled a recent studio audience, and we got their best response to this. Meet blank. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500. If you match the next one, you get two fifty. If you match the bottom one, you get a hundred dollars. Whom do you call on for a little assist here? Charles. Charles, what do you say? <laughs> I got a funny one, but it's not going to help her any. I'm going to say me a meatball. Meatball. All right, there's one. And. And what do you say? A uh, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Okay. Richard. And Richard. Meathead. Meathead. Oh. Isn't nice, Sonny? I think you got three good ones there. It's going to be hard to choose one, but you've got to do that right now. Meatloaf, meathead, meatball. You want one of those? You may even have a better one in your own head, although those three are pretty good to me. I of one that was said, but I'm not going to say that. I'm going to stick with meatball. Meatball. All right, meatball is what she wants. Let's see if we can find a little meatball for this girl, shall we? Shall we reveal... Down at the bottom there, the $100 response. Meat market. Uh -huh. What did you think of that? Between loaf and yeah. bowl. All right, looking for a meatball, folks. Let's see what's under the $250 response. Uh-oh. Meathead. That was Richard's, right? Yeah. All right, last chance, you meatball. Here's a $500 response. Meatball! Oh, How do you feel about that? I feel great. I Good. feel great. Good. Are you ready to go on? Yes. That means now you play for 5000 To collect, you've got to match one of them head-to-head. -head. has to be exact. Time to choose one. Charles. Charles, are you Your ready? Your reign is over, Philip. The women are turning toward me. <laughs> The party is over. <laughs> All over because my Because your bread. robe fascinates them, Charles. <laughs> All right, here we go for 5,000 bucks. I'm so nervous. Bull of blank. Bull, B-O-W-L, of blank. Bull of bull. Bull, B-O-W-L, of, or F, blank. B-L-A-N-K. <laughs> Okay, he's finished. He thought it over very carefully, honey. You think it over carefully before you give an answer. Because if you match him, it's $5,000 richer that you'll be. Bowl of... Soup. Soup. Hey, man. I might be tempted to say that if I were playing. We'll find out right now if you do match Charles. For $5,000, she's his bowl of soup. Her name is Sonny. Sonny Hodges. Sonny. Sonny, well, right. I don't want the position she plays on the team. Sonny Hodges is a shortstop. No. Yes. So Frank Sinatra sings a song, so when Sonny gets blue. Yes. Right? And I right. suppose you're wondering why I'm leading up to this song along. It's because today, Sonny is not blue. <laughs> Well, 
actually shedding a tear of joy here. We'll pass along this happy message for you. <laughs> Gene Raven Match Game 75, join us next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is Johnny Olsen speaking for Match Game 75. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tubman production.